season. Take a look at the 76ers. They've got the number one record in the conference, and because of it, each night out, their competition is going to bring it right at them. And I think for the 76ers, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. You know, that's the mindset you have to have. They know if they can get to the playoffs, they have the talent to do some real damage. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Well, Joel Embiid and the Sixers have been through a lot in the last five years. At the beginning, there were so many losses on and off the court. But trust the process became a mantra, one that Embiid embraced. He said, I think a lot about what I went through, how it prepared me to be a better man. I really feel like I'm the process, and the process is about me. Kevin, the process has turned out quite well. Thank you, David. Two great pivot men tonight, Chris. The position has obviously changed over the last couple of years. If you were playing now, do you think you'd be more of a four or a five? You know, Kevin, I think I'd be a three. I played the four and five in the NBA I like uh, when I played. I like and, and I think uh, I, I'd be a three. Uh, right now, you get to shoot. You get to take guys out on the wing. Defensively, though, uh, I'd have to make sure I call for some help. Because laterally, you got to be able to move out there with those guys. But uh, I, I think definitely it'd be the three, four, and five, the way the game is evolved. And you can bring the ball up. I've seen you do it. I know you could do it in this game as well. Yeah, well, I tell you what, you have a lot more opportunity to do it in this game, and, and that's not a criticism. It's, it's actually, a, I love the way the game is played now. It's a lot less hand-checking, uh, more space, and, and when you play with guys like I did from uh, the Pajas, Stojakovic's, and, and all the great shooters, the Tracy Murray's, those guys, uh, it's that much easier to play in space because the defense has to honor those guys, and if they space out, that means you may just have a wide-open lane to the basket. Look at the 76ers starting group. The tall lineup out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and MB. And for the Nuggets, the backcourt is Murray and Harris. At the forward slots, it's Barton and Milton. And it's Jokic in at the five. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. And he knows it, too. He tried to get away with it. Sometimes you do. That time he did now, here's Richardson. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Utah. And it was the little things, too. I mean, getting to the line, finding ways to get his points any way possible. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. Simmons against Murray. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Even a blind squirrel finds an acorn once in a while, right? I did not think that was good. Simmons against Milson. And Simmons kicks to Horford. For three, Richardson. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Oh, man, the awareness and the IQ of Horford. Look, so adept at getting the ball to his open teammates. Murray, the pass to Jokic. The dish to Barton. To the left wing. 14 feet away. Unable to get that one. Good D by Embiid. Richardson attacking. It's hauled in by Harris. Everything looked good until the finish. It all goes good. Well, let's take a look at last year's top scores. Fourth, Joel Embiid. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Murray against Simmons. Murray, the pass to Millsap. Harris outside. Over Richardson. Here's Jokic. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. The 76ers have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. And the foul on Jamal Murray. Well, that's foul number two for him. We're just a little too amped up here early. Two fouls on him already. That's going to affect his playing time. Monte Morris has checked in for Murray. Embiid dishes to Horford, and it's Simmons penetrating. 
Such an impressive athlete. The way Simmons moves on the drive is so natural and under control. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Harris against Richardson. Pass to Horford. A shot. No good. And Denver the other way now. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And, guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. They looked totally in sync, G.A. I mean, they knew what they wanted to accomplish, and then they went out there and did it. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. And going against Denver, their first meeting of the season. It's not often we get to see this matchup, but it is a doozy when we do. Just two powerhouse teams facing off. I mean, who knows if you want to look all the way ahead to the 15 points a game, seven assists, and nine rebounds. And what sets him apart is his rebounding. And as you can see, he's been in peak form. This last stretch, unbelievable tenacity going to the glass. It's been reflected in that statue. Now, here is Morris. 11 points for him in that last game against Miami. While he was doing that, I mean, dropping buckets. He was keeping everybody else involved, too. I mean, he had a tremendous night for Simitane. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Here's Philadelphia. They're on an 11-2 run. Simmons finds Richardson. And here is Harris. There's the pass to Richardson. Pass to Horford. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. Rebound by the Nuggets. Now Morris. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Let's it go from 14. Rebound by Joel B. His field goal percentage has dipped this quarter. I mean, his movement has to be better. He has to find the open spots on the floor. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. The Nuggets trail by nine. Barton outside. Here's Jokic. That shot is off. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Oh, man. Awful display from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. But I've been shooting in the early going here. Pretty dreadful. 22%. Harris passes to Morris. It doesn't go for him. And Philadelphia the other way now. This game coming after a loss against the Jazz. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. Well, you know, the ball movement was lacking. And, Greg, you know things got stagnant. That's why that offense looks so off. Denver time calls out. timeout. Chris, we're getting into a new season, but on beat. Last season, he played outstanding. Second in rebounding. Fourth in scoring. And he finished among the top ten in blocks, bringing that intimidation factor to the paint. And looking back at last season, his complete dominance on the boards to rank number two overall. Absolutely remarkable. And stolen by Horford. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. The Nuggets trail by 11. Out to Morris. And here's Millsap. Last game he had 10 points. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. Jokic inside. Embiid's there. Jokic passes to Morris. Just four to shoot. And you know what? Call it great defense or a poor offense. Either way, they're limiting their scoring. Just doing the job on the backboard. Horford laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Now here's Barton. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Miami. Pass to Jokic. 
to end the run. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots off. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. The Nuggets trail by 15. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Tipped away and stolen by Simmons. Up the floor, and it's Richardson slamming it down. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Yeah, you're right, Greg. They decided to pound the ball inside, using their physicality to set the tone. Now here is Harris. No points in the game yet for him. Here's the three. Drills the three-pointer. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The 76ers leading by 14. Richardson outside. Pass to Horford. Simmons on the wing. Jokic defending. MB. And the dunk by MB. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, you gotta be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. Embiid with the steal. Harris outside. It's stolen by Harris. And now the Nuggets. Fast break. Morris with the ball. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And there's that transition offense. Push the ball up the floor. The defense can't get set. And you can get some easy baskets here. Now here's Simmons. He's got six. Harris looking it over. The pass to Horford. Pocket six. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. And coming into this season, questions about whether the Sixers could retain their star players. Well, Greg, they shuffled the decks, but they still have great talent. Swapping in Al Horford for Jimmy Butler, Josh Richardson for J.J. Reddick. The, the Sixers still in the mix to come out of the East. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Pass to Jokic. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. He doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. It's Richardson on the wing. Martin defending. Simmons passes to Harris. Over Harris. No good off the back of the rim. They've been sensational on the backboard to start. Oh, oh that was something else. Great. And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular, and he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. Now, here's Richardson. He has seven. Simmons with it. Now defended by Jokic. Here's Embiid, bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Morris kicks to Harris. Barton surveying the floor. Here's Millsap. Down low, here's Jokic. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assists. They've got an effective passing big man in Millsap. He does a lot for their chemistry. Simmons against Morris. 14 feet away. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. Barton, no luck. Oh, they get away with it here, but that's not a shot you should ever be giving him. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers, and Embiid throws it down. This is as high percentage of a shot as you can get for Embiid. He's a powerhouse of a player. He loves to dunk it. Harris outside. Back to Barton. 
35 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And Jokic wide open. He shoots. Buries it from three-point range. Jokic has got seven points. Uh, I remember when you get in trouble for shooting the three as a big man. Now teams want their bigs operating outside the three-point line. It's good. And that's ten points for Ben Simmons. This quarter expending tremendous energy at the offensive end. And he's not slowing down. He's still calling for it. Morris looking over the floor. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. That's his first foul. Morris with the ball. From deep. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers out in front by 17 points at the end of a great fan support, great history. Something Horford relishes. A, a great choice. A team with depth and youth. They have a chance to be good for a long time. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Guys, 76ers pretty much in control here, it would seem. Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Well, it's part of their strategy coming in, no doubt. And, and there may not be that much their opponent can do about it. So on the floor for Philadelphia, we've got Mike Scott. Simmons is out there with Korkmaz. Then there's Embiid. And it's Ennis in at the small forward position. And you look at Joel Embiid, maybe the best two-way big man Chris in the NBA today. If there's anything he needs to work on, what would that be? Well, I still think that there's room for growth as far as his playmaking. I mean, Kevin, he's going to command double teams on a nightly basis. So it's all about taking advantage of the defense for sending that extra man. Fans, just broadcasters, love to see teams get out and attack in transition. Would you like to see the league crack down on intentional fouls that, that, that will halt that break, slow down that break, stifle that break? No, because the, the home fans or the fans of the team that's fouling doesn't want that team to get out and get an easy two points. I mean, we still have to have defense in the game. So anything that takes away from team scoring, you just can't say, well, we want to watch them score. Don't do yeah. it. No. And uh, very honestly, if you're an unselfish team, usually on those breaks, it's usually because a player holds the ball to them. Right. Usually they have another open player in front of them that they could pass it up to. And if you're an unselfish team, usually you'll still give the fans what they want. And that's a crazy highlight on the break. <laughs> No good on the second free throw. And Murray's got the ball here for Denver. Passes it to Plumley. Here's Beasley. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And Embiid with the block. And the wingspan of Embiid. I mean, very effective at using his limp to turn shots back to the middle and oh boy a lot of contact there but he gets the call and will shoot two it's going to be on Mason Plumley. wow wow he got whacked on that one shouldn't be much debate there the 76ers have gone one for two on the night so far from the line Good from Scott. He's perfect from the line this time. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. 
Kevin, Josh Richardson has made himself into one of the top defensive wings in the league. Richardson says there's a certain competitiveness that comes with being a good defender. The defensive end takes will, and I have a lot of it. Kevin J. Rich is self-described as super competitive, and that edge is what drives him. It sure is. That's what it takes. Thank you, David. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Grant. And you see Jeremy Grant on this team. He means so much more than just his stats. He's a fantastic glue guy. And his teammates talk about how unselfish he is on the floor. Great team player and an even better chemistry guy off the court. And Grant drops them both. And the combination of athleticism and defense Grant brings is superb. A guy who you can depend on to compete. Here's Korkmaz. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Got a piece of it. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. Here on the 2K leaderboard are the rebounding leaders from a season ago. Second, Joel Embiid. What a season he had in the paint. I mean, his rebounding numbers, really mind-boggling. Who wouldn't love to have a guy like that? The Nuggets trail by 20. Murray, the pass to Plumley. Here's Craig. Back to Plumley. It's blocked. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area well part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused well greg their, their poise has been tremendous i mean excellent at both ends has them increasing this lead grant that's good grant's got four points now in the quarter and the precise passing of murray really moving the ball well around the floor. Korkmaz passes to Embiid. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Mason Plumley. Yeah, he went from not even playing basketball to the number three pick in a matter of, of just four years. As Joel Embiid puts it, his life is a movie. The first one falls. And the NBA veteran Luke Baamute hosts a camp every summer in Cameroon. Bede basically was forced to attend it. And the rest, Chris, is history. Yeah, 16 years old, Kevin. He moved to the U.S. He didn't speak English. He was getting teased and bullied. They laughed him out the gym. And that's when his competitive nature took over and, and carried him to greatness. Hope he's laughing now. And MB drops them both. Chris, with every team looking to maximize floor space, which big men are the deadliest from outside? They have a shot that you've got to respect. Oh, well, I, I think you got to go with a few. Uh, just rapid fire. You got to go with that man, uh, Mr. Towns, out there in Minnesota. How about Blake Griffin, what he did for the Pistons? Just shooting, you know, knocking those threes down. Now, I got to give my man Big Lopez a shout out. He shoots it deep from Curry Land out there for the Milwaukee Bucks. So much fun watching these guys. And don't forget about Big Marcus Saul. He'll let it fly from deep as well. He will, and they're all effective. Oh, very effective. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Yeah, right now it feels like they can't miss. We'll see how long they can make this last. Now here's Murray. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Miami. And now the 76ers on the break. Here's Ennis. And the shot goes down. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, and it's because of the looks they're getting. Their offense is creating some great opportunities. Denver calls timeout. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. Off the bench. Steps into that front court. 
and more than holds his own. Well, it's his willingness to bang down low or move opponents off the block. Those are valuable contributions. Beasley kept alive to the paint. Here's Grant. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. It was a, a little bit of a battle for him all season long. Last year, only shooting about 71%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. Can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. And Chris, whether it's KD or Kyrie, we've seen stars grow irritated. Constant questions about their free agent destinations. I, I would just suggest to them to go back in time. Nothing's new under the sun. Watch guys like Shaq, Mike, myself, uh, other guys that were free agents. It's a time to talk about it, and, and it's a time not to. And you can even speak about your impending free agency without um, insulting the fans where you're playing and without guessing of maybe where you will go next year. I, I just think that, you know, guys just need to be a little more sensitive with it. Fans really want to know, and if the media is going to ask you the question, you got to figure a way how to handle that out uh, delicate. Well said. Just five on the clock. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Offensive rebound, MB. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Murray surveying the D. And Plumley kicks to Beasley. Now here's Murray. D right on him. Takes the elbow jumper and drains it. Murray's got his second bucket of the game to go. And the confidence from Murray. Just so efficient from the interior. Pass to Scott. Here's Thibel. Covered by Beasley. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. He was hoping to avoid a third foul before the breakup. Now, he might have to sit out until halftime. El yeah, Horford's checked in for MB. The Nuggets shooting a pretty low, 34% thus far. Murray, the pass to Beasley. Back to Murray. Now the pass to Beasley. Now here's Plumley. Beasley kicks to Grant. Here's Craig. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Here's Korkmaz. He's covered by Murray. Here's Feibel. Excellent D there from Beasley. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Harris has checked in for the 76ers. Josh Richardson comes in for Korkmaz. Tobias Harris. Josh Richardson. Here's Murray. Dishes it to Grant. Back to Murray. Floats one, and that's two points on the layup. Murray's got four points in the quarter. <laughs> that's just great touch. The teardrop, well, that's all about fear. Now here is Harris. He's guarded closer. Well, you look at the career of Tobias Harris, and, well, he's bounced around a bit. Has never slowed his development or production, though. You put him anywhere, and he'll find a way to help his team. First one falls for him. 
And with Harris, he's been moved so many times. You know what, Greg? You forget he's still quite young. Yeah, I mean, he really is just starting to enter what should be the prime of his career. Has improved every offseason and is a great rebounder and scorer. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Jokic, he's checked in for Plumlee. Millsap comes in for Jeremy Grant. Barton's checked in for Torrey Craig. And Harris subbed in for Beasley. Yeah, he was the 19th pick in the 2011 NBA draft. I mean, Harris entered the league after a quality year as a Tennessee volunteer. Now here's Millsap. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. The kick out to Barton. Fires for three. Trains the three-pointer. Oh, he just caught the defense nothing. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range when there's no hand in his face. Pass to Harris. Here's Thibel. Takes the 13-footer. Jump shot is good that time. Thibel's got five points so far. And you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. Poked away, and it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second-chance points in the NBA. The Nuggets, number one. Yeah, that was a huge factor for them a season ago. Their ability to attack the offensive glass and then convert those into second-chance buckets. I mean, no one did it better. Now, here's Scott. That's tipped and stolen by Barton. Passes to Murray. Harris outside. Back to Murray. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Barton wide open. He fires. And the three off target. Here's Fable. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game, but the points are starting to come for him now. While the NBA is entertainment, you know, Chris, it also uh, can have a very social impact in a positive way. Guys like Kyle Korver have spoken out. The Jazz took action last season. Uh, Chris, how do you feel the league has responded to issues like discrimination? Well, I think the league has done a wonderful job, better than any league. First of all, we acknowledge it. You don't just throw it under the rug and say there's no problem here. And that may be the toughest to, to be able to acknowledge that. And then secondly, to make quick sweeping decisions, I think has also been awesome too. But I don't think any league in the history of sports has had more players speak up uh, for issues in society than ours. Let's go back to Bill Russell and others, the way that they started the game and came in. We have to love it, and I love the fact that the league is not scared of the narrative, and we work together. And by the way, that Kyle Corver article was so awesome. It was so vulnerable uh, for him to write that. And, and when you have players like that, no matter what color, that are selfless to speak out to make society better, then it's not just good for the game, but it's, it's great for all of us. So kudos to Kyle, the Jazz, and everyone doing all they can do to make things better for everyone. Absolutely. Here's Simmons following the basket by Jokic. To the inside. Here's Harris. No good. Not a friendly rim at all this trip down. Here's Murray. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assist. Eight points for Jamal Murray. And, and love seeing Murray take it strong to the rag. A phenomenal finisher inside. Millsap against Simmons. A floater, and it's good on the layup. Simmons got 12 points in the game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Murray against Simmons. Murray outside. Over Simmons. And it's blocked by Simmons. Oh, such a smart defensive player. He knows how to use his reach to alter shots. Well, he hit that one three-pointer in the first quarter. Still none so far here in the second. The shot from the low post is good. He's got 14. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Here's Jokic over Horford. 
And Jokic with the basket on the assist by Murray. Murray's got three assists tonight. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Inside, here's Thibel. And that one is stuffed right through. Uh -uh, look, I love how Simmons makes his teammates better. He's consistent at looking to get them going. There's 53 seconds left here in the second. Pass to Jokic. It's Barton on the wing. This one for three. They grab their own miss. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Horford. Denver shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Your Nuggets, Nikola Jokic, taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Well, Greg, the rapid ascension of Nikola Jokic into NBA stardom has been nothing short of amazing. You know, he really is an elite center now. I mean, he's the best player on a very talented young team in the West. I would not be surprised to see him win an MVP in the next few years. Monte Morris has checked in for Denver. And Jokic drops them both. Well, you know, you watch Nikola Jokic out there, and he just moves like a guard. The way he approaches the game, sees the court, and shoots just aren't found in that center position. Now, here's Richardson. Nine points in the game so far. Shot clock at five. Back to Harris. There's the triple. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got four rebounds now tonight. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. 76ers ahead. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Filling out the wings, Harris and Barton. Millsap and Jokic, the big men. And it's Murray in at the point guard. That's the group for Mike Malone getting going here in the second half. Here's Thibel. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got nine assists now tonight. Harris outside. The pass to Jokic. Puts up a three. A nice shot by Harris. Harris has got six. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Pass to Harris. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Horford has a wide open look. Trying to answer back. But that three is off the mark. Horford against Murray. Millsap up top. Murray against Harris. And stolen by Simmons. And now here comes Simmons leading the break. And Simmons slams it in. Playing to his strengths on the offensive end. Simmons, I mean, an added bonus whenever he catches fire. Harris looking it over. Passes it to Jokic. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And this summer, a five-year, $170 million max contract extension for Ben Simmons. The Sixers didn't want to give him any cause to look elsewhere. A great talent, but the hope with that kind of money is that he'll develop that jump shot. First free throw is good. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Oh, 
He makes one of two that time. Chris, one of the most versatile scorers in the game, Tobias Harris. He had some great teachers, too, including Hall of Famer George the Iceman Gervin. Yeah, well, check this out, Kevin. His father was Gervin's agent late in his career. I mean, from age 10, Tobias got to train at Gervin's facility every summer. And they still work out to this day. That's a real one. Harris learning from a great how to get buckets. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. Pass to Horford. Harris outside. Richardson outside. Over to the left wing. Horford and the 76ers tack on two more. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. Richardson against Harris. Just five to shoot. Puts it up from 12. Offensive rebound. And Jokic throws it down hard. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. Now here's Simmons. He's got 16. And there's the pass to Horford. And here's Harris from the arc. Here's Embiid. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the Denver Nuggets get called for the foul. Hard to guard and be without fouling. He's awesome at forcing the defense's hand. I mean, literally. The 76ers have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of nine. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Embiid. Is there a more entertaining player in this league than Joel Embiid? I mean, on the court, he's a seven-plus footer who can do it all. Off the court, no one better on social media. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Plumlee, he's checked in for Jokic. Grant comes in for Paul Millsap. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Barton. And it's Malik Beasley in for Gary Harris. And so Grant will bring it up for the Nuggets. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Murray outside over Simmons. And that one hits back iron. 76ers have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Pass to Corkmans. To the middle. Here's Embiid and the dunk by Embiid. Wow, and he's an elite scorer with impressive repertoire. Embiid is outstanding at knowing when to exert his will on offense. Now here's Murray. He's got eight. Passes it to Craig. Over Ennis. Craig can't get it to go. I thought that one was going to go down. The mid-range jumpers. Oh, man, that's usually a bunny with the deep playing soft like that. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. Oh, man, so unselfish. He's doing a great job creating for others and, and making pinpoint passes. Murray, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Yeah, Greg, that's his great defense. Forcing his man into a difficult attempt. Here's Craig. Down low. Beasley outside. Murray against Simmons. Murray, the pass to Beasley. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got his 16th rebound on the night. Simmons finds Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. He does all the little things. I mean, he does the big things. I mean, he's got them in front with another outstanding performance. Beasley dishes the Plumley, And the foul called on Corkmont. That's his first foul. And the 76ers making a change here. Scott's checked in. Mike Scott. Here is Plumley. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Out 
outside for Murray. Five on the clock. Pass to Plumley. And the rejection by MB. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Monte Morris is checked in for the Nuggets. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. The pass to Embiid. Over Plumley. Embiid, no good. Denver shooting pretty terrible here in the third quarter at around 30%. Craig passes to Morris. Pass to Beasley. Can they get it? Here's Plumley, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. Now here's Simmons. 16 points for him. And then Simmons slams it in. And the versatility of Simmons astounding. Amazing. Impressive. Dunks like this are just insane. Beasley outside. Here's Craig. No good there. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Kicks it to Morris. Passes to Craig. Here's Grant. It's Morris atop the key. Pass to Craig. Back to Morris. Beasley for three. Rebound by the 76ers. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Simmons dishes to Embiid. Over Plumley, And Embiid gets it to go. Embiid's got seven points here in this quarter. Oh, man. Making outstanding use of the mid-range area. The big man, Embiid, he enjoys mixing this shot up in from time to time. And that one is good by Beasley. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. And the pass to Scott. Back to Simmons. He feeds it to Embiid. Some solid defense from Grant. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. Craig can't get it to go. Jesus surprises anyone with that miss. When he's left alone like that, you can usually count it. Korkmaz passes to Scott. Over Beasley. The 15-footer. Good. Scott's got his second bucket of the night. And nice job taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. You have to know the scouting report. He's a threat from out there. Now, here is Morris. Beasley with a clean look. And again, Denver with the triple. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. All right, a chance to check out stats for Morris. Last season's performance for him. Averaged 10 points per game, three assists, and two rebounds. And you, you like what he brings backing up the point guard. Yeah, no doubt. He knows how to run this office. Tremendous asset to this team coming off the bench. The 76ers have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. Shooting two. That's good from Scott. A different look for Denver. Paul Millsaps checked in for Plumley, and Barton subbed in for Beasley. The 76ers also with a sub. 
Richardson's checked in. He doesn't get the second one. Denver's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. And how about the transition from Paul Millsap going away from that star role to being more of a role player here in his later years? No longer needed to carry the torch, if you will, in terms of scoring and rebounding, but he can still give you just a bit of everything else at this stage. A scoreless quarter for him. I mean, can you can see by his body language that he's getting discouraged. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, for the last five years, the Golden State Warriors have been the colossus that stood over the NBA. There were thoughts that most teams were not willing to do things to be competitive, knowing that they could not beat the Splash Brothers, Draymond Green, and then Kevin Durant. But the Warriors' loss to the Raptors in the finals last year, combined with the injuries to Durant and Clay Thompson, have opened things up. And for the first time in a long time, there are any number of teams in this league that believe it's their time. Probably so. The West is strengthened. There's no doubt, D.A. Interesting matchups coming up for sure. Thank you. And that one falls for Paul Millsap. And with Millsap, you can just see him contribute in so many ways. I mean, a great passer for his position and also very unselfish with his offense. Still a plus defender with how often he is giving up size on the inside. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Jokic, he's checked in for Jeremy Grant, and it's Gary Harris in for Torrey Craig. Underrated coming into the league and underestimated. Millsap doesn't have any doubters anymore. And they double up Simmons. Jokic with the steal. And here comes Harris leading the fast break. Morris trying to free himself up and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And one thing you have to love about Gary Harris, the way he can explode to the rim. And Harris is a natural scorer from all parts of the floor. But... He can just rocket himself for dunks we aren't used to seeing from players of his size and stature. And the first one at the line is good. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 132 left in the third quarter. Al Simmons, he's got 18. Scott, and finished off by Scott. He is a fantastic athlete for a power forward. Whatever he lacks in height, he makes up for it with hops. Morris outside. Harris against Barton. Buried from 15 feet out. Barton's got 11 points. Yeah, now almost any player left that wide open is going to bury that shot. This is the league. That's poor defensive work. Pass to Harris. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And checking out the stats for Jokic. He's coming off an excellent season. Ninth in assists, and he did his share on the glass, battled his way into the top 15 in rebounds per game. And his floor awareness was impeccable last season. As you mentioned, top 10 in assists just does a great job of getting everyone involved. The 76ers have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Shooting two.
That's good from Harris. And Harris drops them both. And Morris has got the ball here for the Denver Nuggets. Jokic on top. Back to Morris. Jokic trying to free himself up. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Jokic. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. Simmons against Morris. And that one drops for him. 20 points for Ben Simmons. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. Simmons against Morris. Passes it to Jokic. Barton outside. With two seconds left. And the miss. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers having no problems at all. Up 29 points heading into the next quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And we'll be back with you shortly. Fourth quarter upon us. Time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. They've got Smith. Tobias Harris is out there with Kyle O'Quinn. Then there's Trey Burke. And it's Thibault in at the three, the small forward. Now, here's O'Quinn. Unloads from 13. Feibel can't get it to go. Nugget shooting a meager 37% for the game. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's Vanderbilt, guarded by Harris. Vanderbilt the pass to Morris. Shot clock at six. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Morris has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Nuggets. Smith scanning the floor. Here's Thibel. Vernon Gomez covering. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Chris, what's your definition of most valuable player? <laughs> LeBron, Michael Jordan. Uh, oh, oh, okay, let me, let me. Okay, the best player in the league. That's my definition. Who makes players better? Who brings the fans into the game? There's only uh, one type of player that's an MVP, and there's only about six guys Shoot any two. year that can be MVP. But if you're talking about guys that help you, uh, let's say, are the best on a contract mm -hmm. or getting the most bang for their buck, you got to look at guys like a Siakam. You know, he's just making over $2 million this season, still playing on that rookie contract. And, and those are the guys that, uh, that are on their way up. So you can always find young talent uh, playing for maybe uh, less than what they should be getting at that time. But the most valuable player continues to be the top six players of the league, period. Jamal Murray, he's checked in for Gary Harris. And good on the second, so he makes them both. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. On the wing, Morris. Burt covering. Murray, no good. And for the 76ers, their shooting has been brilliant in this game. 67% from the floor. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Smith. Taking two shots. Shooting two. He's off on the first. Chris, the other day, Adam Silver has been talking about how the All-Star game, that system, is not working. He's been proactive in considering alternatives. What do you think? Well, I love what he's done already. Let's think about the All-Star game in 2019. Uh, letting guys pick their players. 
like old school on the park, I mean, that adds a little bit of ego, and that's what you want because we want competition. We want guys that like each other, don't like each other, that are playing against each other, that we're in the finals against you. We want all that competition, all that mental game that goes into it. And so uh, I love the fact that he's outspoken, that, that he's definitely ahead uh, of the problem. Uh, but I think he did a great job by letting players pick their teammates because that already, already causes a little in-team drama that we'll see play out on the floor with how hard guys are playing. Morris, no good. Morris has gone three for eight tonight from the field. Feeds it to Harris. That one doesn't go. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has yeah, not been there for him tonight. Murray against Smith. And the rejection by Smith. Knowing the kind of competitor he is, I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. And it's slammed in by Smith. Did you see the no-look pass by Harris right there? I mean, he's a wing that knows how to move the ball. Morris passes to Hernan Gomez. Here's Vanderbilt. The pass to Morris. Five to shoot. Here's Hernan Gomez, and it's blocked by O'Quinn, and they get it back. Vanderbilt's shot is good. And so it's Burke who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. And it's good, two points. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah, horrible effort. It appears... They may be on the brink of giving up. Here's Morris. 76ers getting the bucket. And he drops it in from the low post. He's really turned it around here in the second half. I mean, his offense has returned. Burke with the bounce pass. Harris outside. Vanderbilt with the rebound. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Murray. Outside Porter. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. 76ers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Murray against Smith. Pass to Burke. Here's Thibel. Six to shoot. Trying his luck from deep. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. The Nuggets have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Oh, you have to appreciate the ball moving and the commitment to getting a high percentage look. See, Webb, the NBA always trying to improve every aspect of the game, and that includes officiating. Yeah, and it should include officiating, one of the most important parts of the game and one of the toughest jobs within the business of basketball. I mean, these guys are calling, making calls on the fly with, without the advantage of, of the camera at home that we have watching through the screen or without right. the advantage of slow motion technology. So first of all, kudos to the refs that go out and give it their best every day. We have the best refs in any of sports, I believe, and we still need to improve on that. The league recognizes that, and I love the fact that everybody's doing it together. Now, here is Smith. Passes it to Burke. O'Quinn trying to free himself up. Burke can't get it to go. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. And stolen by Horford. To the paint. And it's Smith that time on the assist by Ennis. Smith's got five points now this quarter. Oh, look, when the D will give it to you, that's where you want your shots coming from. Arms length from the bucket. Morris outside. He dishes it to Plumlee. Ron Gomez trying to break free. And that one, good. That's just a product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. Smith outside. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Horford. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. 
Hernan Gomez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Vanderbilt. And along with the association, we've seen the growth of the G League, the WNBA, the 2K League. Chris, which of those have you followed the most? Well, first let me say I should have been drafted by the 2K League because I'm really nice. Matter of fact, anybody <laughs> listening to the sound of my voice, I will beat you in the game that I'm talking on right now. But secondly... I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> I love the WNBA from Lisa Leslie to Cheryl Swoops to my girl Candace Parker. Are you kidding me? The skill set of these ladies? Oh, they have game. And I can't say I follow one the most because even the G League and their all-star game I follow. Right now, it's a great time for hoops and all three of these leagues I'm in on. Raul Neto's checked in for Burke. And the second free throw, good. The 76ers have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Here's Neto. Pass to Horford. Six on the shot clock. Back to Neto. Morris with the block, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Yeah, with no defensive pressure at all, you've got to be able to make that exchange. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Korkmaz comes in for Ennis. Richardson, he's checked in for Zaire Smith. And Simmons subbed in for Raul Neto. Now, here's Jokic. Chris, we read this the other day, the NBA announcing the development of the BAL, the Basketball African League. They feel there's a lot of untapped potential there. I, I would tend to agree. I'm so excited. I already put my name in the hat to go out there and work with and help develop oh, terrific. these kids. Oh, terrific. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, just think about this. You want to know what type of talent is out there? Um, let's just start with Akeem. Then we go to Matumbo <laughs> yeah. and Bede. He's from Cameroon. How about after the Kupo, who has Nigerian parents? Uh, uh, I, I mean, we, we can keep on going. How about Abaka help by Siaco? Oh, my goodness. Yes. There's some talent out there, baby. And, yes, I'm excited for the BAL, the Basketball African League. Africa, stand up, baby. Denver making his switch here. Harris has checked Gary in. Harris. And there's the pass to Grant. Barton outside. Shot clock at six. Jokic finds Barton. Denver needs to get off his shot. Here's Grant. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Oh, great ball movement there. Philadelphia leading by 22. Richardson outside. Pass to Simmons. To stop the drought. Back to Richardson. And it's Richardson slamming it down. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And here's Barton. To the inside. And the dunk by Grant. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. And so here is Philadelphia. After the Nuggets pick up two. It's tipped. And Simmons kicks to Embiid. Cans it from downtown. Embiid's got ten points here in the second half. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Morris dishes to Barton. Pass to Jokic. And Embiid with the block. Here's Korkmaz. Martin defending. 
This last season, the Thunder became the final NBA team to reach an agreement for jersey sponsorships. Have you gotten used to seeing those patches on the various jerseys around the league? You know what, Kevin? I have. And they're not as intrusive as I thought. I was so... Me too. Man, I, Kevin, I agree. I, yeah, I was so scared of this. I thought it was going to ugly up the jerseys and be bigger than the team logo and things like that. But you know how great this league is when, when, it, <laughs> when it comes to getting messages out to their fans and promotion. And so uh, we've done a wonderful uh, job and uh, actually some I, I really, really like how they fit the jersey, how the colors matches, and, and the history of the company, actually. So, no, I, I think they've done a great job kind of uh, just making sure the slides in there, uh, you know, not taking away the shine from the team. Both teams will make substitutions. Denver's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Morris passes to Hernan Gomez. He kicks it to Grant. Pass to Morris. Shot clock at five. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Now here is Smith. The pass to Burke. Buries it down low. Berg's got four this quarter. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Morris. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. This there is that transition from being a player to retirement. It can be a challenge for some. What were the keys that you found in succeeding at that? Well, well, first, I think it's adjusting, adjusting to the fact you don't have the same schedule. Uh, you, you don't have a physical release uh, that you used to have. Uh, you miss the locker room and the camaraderie with all the guys. And so you, you miss the culture. But secondly, I would say take all the lessons that you learned. And, and for me, this was big uh, from sports and, and use them in business. So uh, in business, I became a rookie in other areas. I found a Chris Mullen type in business. I found a Latrell Sprewell type guys that would mentor you, guys that you would play on their team. Humble yourself, get back to it. Get to practice, get to meetings early, uh, stay at practice late, stay at meetings uh, and be the last one uh, that leaves. And just, just take the culture of basketball, infuse that athletic personality into the personality of whatever you go into next. And uh, you can use those tenants to have a, to have a wonderful retirement and, and really enjoy it. So uh, for me, it, it's been awesome. And by the way, I've had twins and so uh, since retiring. And, and that'll keep, me, uh, keep you just as busy as, as it was you were playing. So <laughs> you, you can find ways to keep that same lifestyle. That's right and some sound advice, too. <laughs> Drills it from outside. Eight points Smith. for Smith. Well, maybe he's not a priority for the D, but come on, man. You gotta have somebody keeping track of him. Morris, left side. The kick out to Porter. Morris, outside. Banked in off the glass. Morris has got 10 points now just in this quarter. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a golly win for the 76ers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water a clinic was put on display here today and so with this win they'll move to six victories on the season and this is a great way for them to kick off this season series two more games ahead and they've taken the, the mental advantage the with this win tonight one shot. and we watched one guy all night long guys and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had what a night tonight it was for ben simmons his vision and his ball movement impressed me the most a tremendous night for him passing the basketball. Four spacing Chris, now so big in the NBA. And big men have the room to put up some unbelievable numbers. Oh, man, look at Lopez out there in Bucksland. I mean, look what he's doing in Milwaukee, just shooting threes from deep. The same, you got to go to Embiid. 
Porzingis, and we've already seen what the great Dirk Nowitzki has done through his career spacing the floor. Look, it adds time on to your career because you don't have to just go down there and bang and be one-dimensional in the paint. It Good makes point. your teammates better uh, because now you're spacing the floor, which gives them room to drive. And if you're really working on your game, you can really make your teammates better because now you have more passing lanes because you're further away uh, from the basket. So as any post player knows, it's a blessing to be surrounded by great shooters. And now big men, uh, they got a little more room out there. Now, here's Scott. No one near Smith as he lets it go. And O'Quinn kicks to Smith. There's the dish to Scott. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Al. You guys do it as a five-man unit on the floor. How did you come together for this win? Uh, just taking good shots on offense, um, trying to, you know, getting stops on defense. Uh, we challenge every shot. Um, you know, we just, just played hard tonight. Great effort and a big win, Al. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony.